how to use project reports on ProofHub. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get started with ProofHub and how to use your project report section. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to input our email over here. So I'm just going to enter my email to get started with my free trial. And this is the great part about ProofHub is that it is such a powerful software, yet you can still use it for free. So I am just going to enter put all of this information and I will get back to you guys in a second. Now, once you input all of your information, they are going to ask you a couple of questions. So what kind of solutions you want to use? And I'm just going to click on just looking and I'm just going to click on sign up over here without answering those questions. And I'm just going to continue on the proof of platform. Now you can see over here, you have to get started with your team. So if it's a team or an organization, I'm just going to continue with a team and then you're going to enter how many people are working in your team. So I'm just going to answer that with one to five and you're going to enter your first project so you can choose to name that whatever i'm just going to do that as maybe management or i'm just going to do it marketing like that and i'm just going to click on next and now you can add certain tasks to your project as well so i'm going to name um plan or i'm just going to do like idea one idea two and then uh digital marketing so i'm going to continue with that and then you're going to add your workflow so these are just going to be larger sections so i'm just going to add those and this is going to be idea generation then i'm going to add in process and then complete and i'm just going to click on continue and then you're going to add the different views that are available so they have get views they have calendar views board views and all of that basic stuff so i'm just going to continue on next and i'm going to click on let's get started now once you log on to your proof hub account this is going to be your basic home page so you can see on your left you have your navigation panel and on the top right you have your account settings and your management so you can also manage stuff from here as well and then your little sticky notes and then your bookmarks over here as well so what you're going to do to get your project report so let's say we're going to create a hypothetical project just to see how project reports on proof hub actually work like so i'm just going to click on finish over here and you can see we created that initial project called marketing and if i just click on this over here i can go into the overview and see the overall look of marketing so what i can do for each project is that i can get a report or a summary of that project this is just the overview but like if i was to on a larger project so let's say i am going to go back into the marketing project and i'm going to go into the task section and i'm going to create like multiple tasks so i'm going to add this task called contact influencer and what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the task i'm going to add a due date for the task so this needs to be done by the 25th and then i can add a label as well i can add it as high so the high label means high priority you can click on add label over here as well to add your own custom labels and then what i can do is i can add a assignee so in this team i have only added myself but if i had added more people I could assign this to a certain person. So I'm just gonna assign this to myself. And you can also add the time. So you can track manually or use a timer to track how long this task is going to take. And then you're gonna have your progress. So what progress basically means is how much this task has been completed. And then you can also add some subtasks, like let's say contact uh, Jane. So let's just name the influencers, contact Ariana like that so every time one of these tasks or subtasks is completed they can just take the person that is working on it can just take it and move it into the in progress section or something like that so i'm gonna move one to completed one to in progress and one in the idea generation stage just like that and now what i'm gonna do to get my progress report so usually if you're working in a managerial setting so if you're a manager if you're someone that is managing the business or you're uh, overviewing like a couple of people you're like a team leader leader then what you're going to do is you're going to go into your report section over here so on your mouse if you drag it over here you're going to go into your report section and within that report section you have your project report so if you click on project report they're going to ask you what project you want to select to view the report on so i'm just going to select marketing over here because that is my only project you can get separate project reports for each one of your projects and you're just going to click on that and now you can see what a beautiful little uh, report you're getting so you have your category you have the start date the end date the status who it was created by and when it was created 
on. Then you have your completed section. So you have a little pie chart to tell you how your project is in progress or how much of it has been completed. Then you get a summary on your right side over here. So the time log, the open milestones, the open tasks. And if you scroll down, you also have your roadmap milestone. So this shows you what task is going to be completed and what the overall view of the project is. Now, after that, you have your first milestone. You can add milestones within your project as well. This really helps boost team morale. So if you want to boost team morale and you want people to look forward to a certain occasion for the team, then definitely do add some milestones. And then you have your assignees, the statuses of the tasks that they have been assigned. And then you have your burnt up chart. So you have your completed tasks and then you have added tasks. And over here, you can see I added a bunch of tasks currently and they are not completed. And then these are just some uh, prerequisite tasks that were already added that have been completed. And once you scroll down, you have by label. So you have your tasks categorized depending on the label. So if they are urgent, non-urgent, active or whatever labels you have added, then you also have by resource. So the resource is the person that is assigned to the task. So the resource is the person that is assigned to the task. So I have two people over here and this is going to also show me a pie chart of who is assigned to more work. And then after you scroll down, you also have your by workflow and you also have your workflow basics. So you can see over here, you have your done task, you have your to do task, and you also have overdue tasks present over here. So if any tasks go over to you, then you're going to be able to find them over here. Then you have custom workflows. You also have a time logged. And this is another great feature within your report section. If you're a manager and you want to be able to understand who is spending how much time and how you're going to pay them, then using this section on proof of is going to be very helpful because you can see the time log, the non-billable and billed hours and the none hours. And then you're also going to get a graphic illustration. Then you can see the overall amount of time logged and the estimated like private time sheet and the non-billable hours people have spent working on this project. So this is how you use the report or the project report section on your Proof Hub account. Once you have your project report, you can just click on download over here and you can download it and forward it to any kind of senior clients that you might have. So if you have like a client that needs like a summary of how their project is going or if you have a manager above you that needs a summary then you can send it to them as well now after that you also can click on go to project over here and from that you will be directly led into your project and then you can start making changes within your project so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to use the project reports on proof hub and you understand how to navigate through the reports and navigate through the proof hub platform make sure to like this video and subscribe to the youtube channel and comment down below the best tips and tricks that i have taught you within this video and make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators as well so you can help them out as well and to anyone that might need to know this basic detailed platform and how you navigate through these different social websites so i hope this was helpful enough for you and make sure that you do leave a comment down below if i missed out on anything and if there is anything you would like to add and i will catch you guys in the next video